This is a certified hood classic. Oh, man, 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 man. Hey, it's another day, my boys. Fam, it's another day, man. Look, we in season two of the channel, man. I, You know, I don't even think y'all know what that is, bro. We've been doing videos for two going on three years probably more than that i don't know i got I, I need to get the exact uh numbers right i don't even got my numbers right we've been doing videos for a long time why do i feel like we're transitioning into a new season bro because we're doing different things we're not just doing try not to laugh so i ain't taking shots at nobody we ain't just doing try not to laugh no more no 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 no, no. we evolved we evolved as a as a community. We evolved, bro. ODG on demand gang as a community. We evolved, bro. We're not just doing that. You know what we doing? We doing the full episodes now. We grinding. We having fun. We laughing. We talking about different things, different topics. Topics. We not just doing comedy videos. We doing all types of stuff over here. And even though it's kind of geared around cartoons, and even though cartoons, man, we might even dab a little anime into it. You already know, man. Some things to come. I'm just saying, bro, I feel like we in a new season of this, this, where we at. Like, even, you know, we still the same old people, man. Same old love. I got love for y'all. love growing every day. I do appreciate y'all and everything y'all do. I'm just letting y'all know. This feels like a new season. I won't do no more long-ass intros. I'm just letting y'all know. This feels like something new. This feels like we getting ready to really get into it in a hundred... 100,000 subscribers on their way, man. I appreciate y'all, man. Without further ado, let's get started. And we got a, a new little, little, little something, something. I told y'all, bro. I'm not playing games. I, I mess with y'all, man. All, look, I, I love y'all. Okay, children, let's take our seats. Did you take attendance, Mr. Slay? Let me know Slay? if you like, like the new setup. Onesie. Okay, let's all take out our math homework and go over the problems. Math homework, math homework. He ain't got that shit. <laughs> Oh, and by the way, children, there's a walkout scheduled today to protest the war in Iraq. So uh, if you're against the war, run along outside. And if you're for the war, uh, stay here and we'll do math problems. Shit, that's an easy answer. <laughs> they go. <laughs> hey, uh, well, what would you thought that was going to happen, Mr. Garrison? Punk ass, bro. He told us some, if you want to stay, we're going to do some fucking work. Be boring as shit. Or if you want to leave and go home and <laughs> shit, I'm like, what damn nigga? Yes, I want to go home. What should we do? Let's you, go boy? see a movie. No war, no war, no war, no war. I said no blood for no war, no war, no war. See, I never got the whole burning flag thing. Like, I never really got that. Um, you know, I understand. I get it. You know, you mad. It's like, oh, I'm mad. I'm mad at America. Blah, blah. But it's not really, like, you know, when you burn a flag, like, it stands for everything. It's not really just... The elite, the, the super elitist that y'all really pissed off at, you're not really hurting them by burning the flag. Like, I get it, y'all get together, like, yeah, we're gonna burn the flag and we're gonna teach them a lesson. Like, they don't give a fuck. Like, they, they really don't care. You know, it just kind of make you look stupid. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, I'm just me being honest with you. I get it, it's supposed to symbolize, well, fuck America, blah, blah, blah. I, it's one of those things that, like, I'm mad at a certain margin of people, certain group, certain elitists. I'm not going to just say, fuck America. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to say all that. Like, you know what I mean? It's just like one of those things that, like, it kind of looks war, like... No war, well, I'm just me being no honest. War, so. No war, boy. No war, boy. <laughs> oh, well, here you go, boy. No war, okay? Boys, this will help the protest. <laughs> it's good to see that you care about peace, boys, okay? I don't give no a fuck about war, that shit. Boy. Excuse me, boys. Tom Stoutsel, HBC News. Can you tell me why you kids marched out of school today? Marched out, okay. Uh, war? Right, what about the war? It, it, it's, it's gay. Uh-huh, and what <laughs> aspect of it do you think is most gay? Uh, no blood for oil. Yeah, war is not my voice. Okay, they just said, hey, but like, they're smart kids, but it's like, hey, look, I don't know, nigga, we just finna read the, we're gonna read the signs, but that's not... It's not dumb by them. It's it's smart for them to just be like, all right, look, we don't know what's going on. We don't want to look stupid on TV, so we just finna read the signs. But to me, I mean, be real, shit. I don't know, nigga. I just wanted to get out of school. I don't care about no war and shit. That's what I'm saying. This is easy. Hey, all you un-American bastards! If you uh -oh. don't like America, why don't you get out? Why don't you get out? <laughs> hey, that nigga funny as hell, boy. 
nigga nose look like Astro Boy shoes. Boy, I'm gonna get on your shit. And what are you mad at, boy? Ugh, mad, ugly ass boy. This nigga got a stain on his shirt, boy. They were working at the junkyard, stupid ass boy. <laughs> that nigga was the dude. That, that nigga was the nigga off of Breaking Bad that got rid of the uh, van, stupid ass for him. I'm gonna get on your shit, boy. And this nigga here, boy. <laughs> I, if I never knew what a dyke was, it'd be the way his mustache connects. Stupid ass. Don't you call us an American. This country was founded on the right to protest, okay? Yeah. If the founding fathers saw you burning your flag and calling the president a Nazi, they'd roll over in their graves. Yeah. Humpty Dumpty. The founding fathers would agree with our right to protest. Founding right. fathers would kick all your asses. Yeah. That's interesting. That's like, say, like getting mad and going off on each other about some men over hundreds and hundreds of years ago, what they would do and what they would have done and what they would have been mad at. Stupid as hell, bro. And you know, as a society, I see how stupid that we can sound arguing about people, celebrities, because that's what a lot of people do. They argue about celebrities. They don't even fucking know. With Barbara Streisand would have did this. I don't know why I use Barbara Streisand. I don't know why I'm using that voice. But Barbara Streisand would have did that. Barbara Streisand would have said this. Well, you can get out. Stupid ass, bro. Shut the fuck well, up. Well, I hope you little commies are pretty pleased with yourselves going out there and protesting America and then saying on national television that you don't even know who the founding fathers are. You uh, kids don't know squat about America, do you? I guess you ain't teaching them, ugly man. Well, not really, no. Yeah, well, that's just jingles, because I'm assigning <laughs> all you little flag burners a full report on 1776 and the Founding Fathers. <laughs> Shut up! I want you all in your study groups of four, and if you can't give an outstanding report on what the Founding Fathers would have to say about all this protesting, then it's F's for you! I like how animated that Mr. Gerson is. You're like, if you can't figure out what you're going to do, then you're going to get an F. I'm like, bro, I get it, bro. You know what I'm saying? This nigga is a very animated person. He's fucked up in the head, bro. That it, it ain't no getting around that. He fucked someone. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> he loved someone to death. The the uh, the Canadian prime minister. He loved him to death. What the fuck? No, that ain't love. No, nah, that ain't love. Fuck. <laughs> I'm sorry for any kids watching. I can't do it. This is way too much material. You shouldn't for be watching me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, you don't, Cartman. Every time I get put in a study group, you sit on ass while the rest of us do all the work. <laughs> but you guys are such better studiers than me. I know you can put it off. You're going to read this oh, stuff and you. study like the rest of us. Meh. Nah. Meh. Nah. <laughs> Shut up and study. Meh. Nah. Nah. <laughs> he ain't used to studying. He can't get comfortable. <laughs> Look at his eyes, bro. That is ADHD at its finest right there, boy. No, that's just boredom. That ain't even ADHD. That's just boredom. 1776, when our founding fathers created America, I wonder what it used to be like in those days. In those days. In those days. In those days. What are you doing? I'm trying to have a flashback. <laughs> a whoop? You know, if I have a flashback, then I can see what 1776 was like firsthand. Okay, no, you facts. just have to study. No, no, no. I've seen this work before. Just give me a second. Oh, okay, okay. How about this? Say, guys, 1776 was so long ago. I wonder what life would have been like back then. Back then. Back then. Back then. Nope. That ain't happened. Nope. <laughs> uh. You got to do it better than that, my boy. You got to do it much better than that. I told y'all. I told y'all. I think, I swear to God, same way Rick, same way Rick Sanchez from Rick and Morty knows that he's in a TV show. And I don't mean like Earth, you know, I'm and now we're aliens and Earth is a TV show. That's not what I'm talking about. I think Cartman knows that we watched him. I think Cartman knows and I think Kenny kind of knows. I I think Kenny knows and I think Cartman knows. I think Kenny, if, if it's not Kenny, I think Cartman knows and Stan knows that this is a TV show. But I kind of don't, I don't know. I don't know. I'm still iffy on Stan, but I know that Cartman knows. The crazy shit that he does, the times that he looked 
directly at the camera, like on some fourth dimension, breaking the fourth dimension shit, I know that he knows. Oh, wait, wait, I know. What I do y'all think, bro? You Let know, me know yes. what y'all think. I don't even care about 1776. It was so long ago that I don't think it has anything to do with me. Here it goes. With me. Here it goes. With me. Anything to do with me. That isn't going to work, dumbass. <laughs> Kid, let's keep it down for study groups or else Mr. Garrison's going to punish me. God, you would like that, wouldn't you, little freaky... Freaky bike rider looking ass boy. Just face it, fuck? Carmen, you're gonna have to a study. Freaky Harley Davidson motherfucker had a, a, a deal on it, boy. Freaky yeah. ass dude. Me, 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 me. From now on, so, this is the pro war side of town, and that's the unpatriotic side. They so <laughs> stupid. How about we call this the rational side of town, and that the redneck side? <laughs> you just keep all your flag burning and your hippie rock protest songs on your side of the town. Like, that's some dumb shit. That's that Germany walls of Berlin type shit, man. That, did, that didn't work. That didn't hey, work. wait a minute. Your side of town has the post office. Well, your side has the grocery store. Right, well, you can come to our ass. side of town. My bad, family. Hey, look, your boy got some Chinese food, man. I got me some Chinese food, man. I had to go downstairs and handle my business real quick, man. I apologize that, man. You know, apologize for that. You know what I'm saying? They even got me a cookie. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Randall, shout out to y'all. <laughs> said pharmaceutical deeds. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. Hey, everybody. This is never going to work. Don't you see? All this dividing up the town, it's right. just ridiculous. What we really should be doing is just beating the hell out of each other like we were. Right, that's He's right. Real. Boy, do I feel like a fool. And then they just go back to fighting. Mm -hmm. That's Carmen, it. what the hell are you doing? You're supposed to be studying. That's what I'm doing. I'm about to find out all about what happened back in 1776. How? All I have to do is be thinking about American history when I walk through this doorway. I'll trip the rope, causing the rock to fall on my head. And then I'll have a flashback to the times of our founding fathers. Really, Carmen, bro? you are hereby declared a full-fledged retard. No, have for real. me all you want, Cal, but I will have the last laugh. Gentlemen, if you will clear the doorway, please. Oh, my God. See, that's the type of dumb stuff that he be doing, bro. That man going to put himself in a coma, and then he going to, all right, <laughs> go ahead, dummy. Go ahead, dummy. That's a, that's his new name, dummy. You can't have no damn, no one, Carmen, he probably can't have a flashback. No one can, he probably can't, because I said it before. He knows that this is a TV show. He knows that the writer's going to write in a flashback. That's what he knows. Oh, my God. Here we oh, go. Oh, gee, I wonder what it used to be like in the year 1776. I had to put my hair back. <laughs> Stupid ass. Carmen? Carmen? He done. Benjamin Franklin? No, turd pants, it's Kyle. Kyle. Stupid. Get out of my flashback, you goddamn Jew. Mayor, our Oh, piece see, he's still, he did all of that, and he still ain't even go back to the damn past. It wouldn't even, wouldn't even be a past. It just seems like it would be, like, but see, here's the thing. If it's all brought on by your mind, right, if you knock if you knock yourself out, and he won't actually time travel, because you don't time travel when you knock yourself out. If you time travel, we go back to the past based on that logic. If he didn't know the information in the first place, he wouldn't know that shit when he had the flashback. Benjamin Frank Franklin is just walking and be like, yeah, nigga, I don't know what the fuck went on because you don't know it's stupid. Like, Rally I don't know. has always been set for I'm this wrong. Saturday. And now these pro-war bastards are suddenly trying to say they get the town square. That's bullcrap, Mayor. Our rally to support the war was set up months ago. There was no war months ago. Hey, if you, you don't like America, then you can get it. Look, nobody wants to hear a bunch of twangy <laughs> country music pro-war propaganda. But nobody wants to hear a bunch of rock protest songs. He's so fucking dusty, bro. That man always got a smudge on him. <laughs> what up yours, rednecks? Quiet, people. The town square is public space. That means if neither group will nicely and maturely move the day of its rally, I'll just have to give the town square to both groups. Damn, All right, that's, that's not gonna be good. Because our war support songs will be a thousand times better. Oh, you think so? Bring the shizzle. We'll drizzle the shizzle all over the hizzle. Yeah? See you say That's 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 freaky shit. He said he wanna trizzle that shizzle all over the hizzle. My nizzle, ugly ass boy. He's talking about ebony porn. Her name is Kizzer Shen is a real Shaz Natch Kaziza. Cartman? Cartman? You better natch. be shutting, goddammit! Ah, Stan, Kyle, Kenny, you're just in time. Nigga. Oh, no. Oh, yes. I am just about to flash back to the days of our founding fathers. Carmen, what you're supposed to be is... studying. What the hell is all this? What I have is programmed TiVo to record over 50 hours of the History Channel. When TiVo is full, both TiVo and I will be dropped into the water, combining our electro-whatever fields and sending me into a flashback of history. The nigga said electric or whatever. 
Electric. That's not what you want to say, my boy. Electric or whatever. Fit. What the fit? You don't even know the science behind it. This boy finna. All right, go uh, ahead. Carmen, go I ahead. think that's a really bad idea. Or a really sweet one. Yeah. Your TiVo is full. Oh, well, well, we guess we'll never know. <laughs> and that's how we lost Cartman. Stupid ass, bro. Kenny just left. Cartman? <laughs> he just left. Cartman? Oh, crap. You killed Cartman. That nigga did it. That's crazy. Who is the young lad? Are you a roar? Yeah, yeah. Can you tell me? Wait, 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 wait. He did it, though. That was just like what I said. Hold on, no, 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 no. That was just like what I said. Give me a second. He just said, he just combined TiVo with the, with the knowledge. So the knowledge of all the shit recorded from him probably watching TiVo while it's recording. Maybe. No, nah, because I think you can record. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know. Now my theory's busted because I... It depends on if he watched it while he was recording it. Well, I don't know. If he watched it while he was recording it, then all that knowledge is in his brain, and now it's causing him to have a flashback, which is really not a flashback. It's just him being put in a small coma, <laughs> and now he's having this flashback is playing in his mind. Not flashback, but you know what I mean. But if Tebow... TiVo, I think, is what you use to record something. You don't have to watch it. It'll re just record it on that channel. So I don't know. What man. year it is? I don't know. This year? We'll Why, it's 1776, bad, it is. Oh, yes. I did it. I did it. Fuck Never you. seen you around here, friend. Might you be from up north? No, I'm not from here at all. I'm having a flashback. A flashback? Why, what is that? Well, you know, it's a... Oh, awesome. <laughs> Look at me, I'm back in time in 1776. Oh my With god. <laughs> corners, cobblestone streets, and humble houses made of bricks. Uh -huh. What a special magic time. Yeah. And it's all alive for me. Okay. I'm so glad Stan and Kyle aren't here. I hate those guys. Seriously. Seriously. Your son tried to kill himself in a ritualistic right. fashion I've never seen before. I don't like that doctor because he always fucking wrong and he be fucking people's lives. His chances of surviving are very slim. I'm so sorry. Oh, baby, baby, you can't die. Oh, yeah, no. we have a report to do, asshole. Get up. Get up. Ooh, easy, Shut Carmen. Up. But it's not fair. We have to do a full report on the Founding Fathers, and, and Carmen got out of helping us again. I guess we're just going to have to do it with the three of us. Come on, guys. In a very dark place now, sweetie, but you must come toward the light. Come toward the light. Ain't that death? I'm afraid you'll have to wait here. But I need to talk to the Founding Fathers to do my report. Sorry, <clears throat> only the official messenger boy is allowed to talk to Mr. Jefferson. Oh, okay. Right, I guess right. I understand. To beat your ass. <laughs> I don't want to wait for our love to be a day. Ah! Ah! Oh! Ah! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Well, boy, you're dead, boy. You're dead, boy. Hello, I am Thomas Jefferson. You are a pervert. I'm the official messenger boy, I am. Very well. Take this document to the Continental Congress. I don't like that ah, nigga, boy. Of Independence Day. Some favor going to war with England and others want to avoid war at all costs. It's a bitch, ain't it? Perhaps this sure. document will make the reasons for war obvious to all. Good luck, young messenger. I'm glad they did war, but we free as fuck now. Something like that. Now make haste. Okay, so Thomas Jefferson wrote the Declaration of Independence in the Continental Congress. No war! No war! No war! No oh, war! Jesus. Uh, boys, would you mind clearing the living room? We have to practice our big war protest song. Dad, we have to study. Mr. Garrison is making us do a presentation on what the Founding Fathers would say about the war. Hey, that's a terrific idea. Yeah, we could have the boys do their presentation <laughs> yeah. as part of our peace rally on Saturday. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, Support yeah. our troops! Support our troops! See, I told you they had your son. Oh, th that's a great segue to get all of them together. But why did they all need to come in that man's house, though? That's the that's my point. I'll be like, uh, 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 get y'all dusty, dirty ass out there. We know, we, we know Kenny dad is dirty, for sure. Kenny, <laughs> what are you doing over here with all these un-American traitors? <laughs> the boys are going to give a presentation work. at our rally about how the founding fathers would agree with our right to protest. No, they not. Uh, no, no, uh, no, actually, we had to really come to it. My son is a patriot and loves his country. Come on, Kenny. Now! Yeah! Support our troops! He ain't have a choice. Oh, Kenny, no. Oh, oh. Oh, now we lost two in our study group. God damn it. 
Can you believe those hick sons of bitches manipulating their kids into being on their side? Disgraceful! What you do? Stan and Kyle, it's up to you to show all those warmongers that the Founding Fathers agree with us! Yeah, that's right! Let's get back to work! Well, they are fucked up. Do you think kids up. in every town have to deal with this crap? Fuck no! <laughs> no, they don't! Enter, young messenger! Ugh. Look at these guys! They are on meth! That is a meth look! I, I know a meth look! That's a meth look! He's on meth! I am John Hancock. And you are too, freaky boy. President of the Congress. Wow. I am John Hancock. Mr. John Adams. Hi. Will you do the honors of reading the tight pants ass boy? This nigga said, I think I'll just go with a mustard dirt color. Um, a mustard shit color. Matter of fact, you know, when the water mixes with dirt, a dirt mustard color. But this nigga got on tighty whitey but tight pants ass boy. This nigga got a vagina nasty ass. Buckles on his shoes, bitch. <laughs> Stick out buckles on his shoes, a vagina. <laughs> Look at this nigga hands. <laughs> boy, you know you a pervert, tubby boy. Nigga built like Penguin from Batman. Document to Congress, please. Oh, no. Good Lord. When in the course of human events, <laughs> it becomes necessary for one people to rise up. pledge to each other our lives, our fortunes, and our sacred honor. P.S. Every Thursday should be free ice cream day. Carmen, Carmen did that. Yeah, I Excuse knew. Excuse me, but does this declaration actually suggest that we should go to war with England? Yes, stinky face ass boy. We have no choice, Mr. Dickinson. Yeah. Nigga look all like right, he smelled everyone. a dirty rag. Thank you all for coming out to protest the war. Good. Okay. Don't, Don't kid yourselves. These, These people, people have come out to support our truth, truth, right? And now, Randy Marsh is going to sing a protest song oh, he wrote God. about the war. Dressed, a, dressed in his Elvis costume. All right, go oh, ahead. no, you don't. We're doing our pro-war song first. Yeah. The last thing these people want is another bleeding heart rock protest song. People, I told you, you have to share the stage. <laughs> Nobody, Nobody wants, wants to hear another, another pro-war pro country song. song. Well, well, excuse, excuse me, me if I'm a little bit country. I, hold on real quick. That nigga Jimbo got a hell of a lot of pockets. Them motherfuckers look like old icons for email. But like, what the fuck wrong with this? This nigga got a, this nigga got a Gmail logo on his ass. <laughs> this man got a million pockets. This nigga got a pocket for condoms, a pocket for parsnips. Uh, this nigga got acorns in his left pocket, a little lint in this pocket, one in the long pocket, and then got mace. He's a Mace's own self. And then nigga Mace's chin. And they got mustard in his other pocket and shit. God damn, that's what, that's what, that, what the Founding Fathers was using for his clothes, bitch. Well, I'm a little right, bit rock and roll. I'm a little for supporting our troops. Oh, and oh. I'm a little for bringing them home. Oh, I believe freedom isn't free. No, but war shouldn't be our goal. We must defend our country. <laughs> if it means war, then we say no. We're gonna show Saddam what America means. That son of a bitch will be dead. Why are we fighting this war? There was a man in the office we didn't vote for. They didn't give me a choice. War is not my voice. Yeah! <laughs> okay, shit, stupid ass. We must go to war. But what about the violence, the lives lost? If we found a country, it should be founded on peace and diplomacy. I mean, yeah, a little bit of that, nigga. But if you don't, if you ain't prepared to go to war, and I, I'm not a, I'm not a war guy. I don't believe in. I'm not saying. See, that's stupid. I, I believe you. Die. Whew. Let me. All right. What am I trying to say? All right. So look, <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, you need to be prepared to go to war. You need to be able to fight. You need to know how to fight. You need to not be a pushover. That being said, fighting shouldn't be your first option. You know what I'm saying? Diplomacy, knowing how to speak, knowing how to come to a certain agreement, needs to be the first thing that you try to do. But if you can't do that, and the motherfucker threatening to take your cookies, or your wife's cookies, well, you got to be able to make dough out of his ass. You know what I'm saying? Understand. I don't like that. I don't know. I, no, I don't like that. I don't like that. Make dough out of his ass. Pause, bro. Pause, man. Dad, one man. thing. Force. 
I must state Shit. again for the record that South Carolina, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, Maryland, and Georgia are against war. <laughs> yeah, because you don't care about the fate of the colonies like we do. You're all unpatriotic. And if you don't like the colonies, then you can get out. <laughs> Don't you call us unpatriotic. We're protesting this war because we care so deeply for the oh fate of our God. colonies. You are all unpatriotic for leading the colonies into a war that half of them don't want. Well, how very, very relevant. Tom, right, I'm standing right. in the town square where the war Real rally top. has been going on for an incredible 87 hours. The crowd still appears to be split right down the middle. Half support country the music Iraq and the other half rock and roll. Let's listen in. And now we'd like to bring out a couple of very special South Park students who did a report on what the Founding Fathers would have to say about the war. I, I, I even got that shit done. For you people who still think war is the answer, perhaps you can listen to the voices of the children. It's probably gonna be half ass, bro. They didn't get enough time to do that shit. And everybody, Carmen's gone, Kenny gone. They ain't have enough time to really do it. It's gonna be half ass, bro. Uh, we didn't do it. What? We didn't do our homework. Boys! You were supposed to come out here and tell everyone about the Founding Fathers. Told you. Well, first we lost one study partner when Carmen put himself in the hospital, and then they took Kenny away, and then Kyle forgot to set his clock ahead for daylight savings, and we couldn't find anything in the history books about Iraq. Okay. That's because the Founding Fathers that. would have supported the war. The Founding Fathers would have protested like us. Support. Protest. Country. I mean, well, like, my thing is, you already know what the Founding Fathers did, because, nigga, y'all in America arguing, obviously, like... They had to go to war. There was a revolutionary war, my nigga. Like I think, whether they supported it or not, I thought it was. I think it's necessary. Rock and roll. And they go to war right there. They fight right there. Damn. Damn. Boy, you gotta be a motherfucker to sit in that hot ass room yelling and screaming. You know it ain't no air conditioning, bro. Back then, look at this nigga. He look that. Look how he looking. He looked just like that. That man missing two, two to three, five, ten teeth on the left side. That nigga been chewing on bricks, and his face is squinty, and it look like something off a of fucking that alien game that you go in the pizza place, and they got the arcade machine, and the aliens come down and fight you. That's what it looked like his face is, bro. And obviously. Niggas in their hot ass room fighting with candles and shit like that. Why did they need candles in the middle of the fucking day? There's a lot I have to ask. We cannot found a country based on war. No wonder, we cannot too. found a country that is afraid to fight. Rabble! 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 Oh, Benjamin Franklin. Franklin, Franklin. Benjamin Franklin. Mr. Franklin, where do you stand on the war issue? Okay. I believe that if we are to form a new country, we cannot be a country that appears war-hungry and violent to the rest of the world. Right, which are fancy However, it is. we also cannot be a country that appears weak and unwilling to fight to the rest of the world. Right. So, what if we form a country that appears to want both? Oh, there you go. Yes. Yes, of course. <laughs> like America we today. We go to war and protest going to war at the same time. Right. Magic if line. the people of our new country are allowed to do whatever they wish, then some will support the war and some will protest it. Possibly. And that means that as a nation, we could go to war with whomever we wished, but at the same time act like we didn't want to. If we allow the people to protest what the government does, then the country will be forever blameless. <laughs> I'm glad they got it figured the fuck out because that's literally what's going on today. I'll tell you, Madden Trey smart as hell. I know there's other people besides Madden Trey, but I'm just saying, bro, like, they are smart as hell to put out shit like this, man. It's like having your cake and eating it, too. Ah, think of it. What else an you entire nation do with the cake? founded on saying one thing and doing another. And we will call that country the United States of America. Gotcha. Wow. Oh, you can I get, get it out. Now. I get it. Oh, here goes. Oh, now he's going to go back to my time, to my time, to, to my time. He's stupid as it. Okay. I thought it wasn't wow. going to work. I thought it wasn't going to work at first, y'all. I ain't going to lie to y'all. Damn. Wait, 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 stop. Please. Now he's going to say the today. The child. The child from the hospital. If you all don't mind, I would like I'd to do like my report, report now. now. Okay. I, know I know what the what founding, founding fathers, fathers would say. say. He does? He does? I learned I something, something today. today. 
This country was founded by some of the smartest thinkers the world has ever seen. And they knew one thing, that a truly great country can go to war and at the same time act like it doesn't want to. You people who are for the war, you need the protesters because they make the country look like it's made of sane, caring individuals. And you people who are anti-war, you need these flag wavers because if our whole country was made up of nothing but soft pussy protesters, we'd get taken down in a second. That's why the founding fathers decided oh, we should have both. It's called having your cake and eating it too. Gotcha. <laughs> He's right. The strength of this country is the Look ability to do one man. thing and say another. Yeah, if it weren't for all you guys protesting, everyone around the world would hate the American people instead of just the president. Right. And if it weren't for you people flexing your arms, America could easily get taken over by terrorists or, or China. I guess we owe you an apology. Damn, America has always been scared of China, bro. It's either America or Madden Trey, but like... I'm seeing China pop up, and these are old episodes, so I'm seeing China keep on coming, keep on coming, and now we're in a cold war with China. Yes, we are in a cold war with China. Yeah, I, I guess we owe you one. Oh. 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 You can get out. Oh. 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 Get in your mind. Carbon save the day? Can't be. The family fathers want you all to know that we can disagree all we want as long as we agree that America kicks ass. Hey, I'm a little bit country, and I'm a little bit rock and roll. Yeah. I'll be the muscle of America, and me, I'll be the caring soul. And the anti-war people. What the hell are they doing now? I, I yeah, don't know. Yeah, it's been a For the war against the war, who cares? 100 episodes. Oh, this is the 100 episode? Okay. That, oh, that's what's up, bro. That... I didn't even know that that was the 100th episode. Wow. Okay. Wow. All right, man. Look, y'all, thank you for 100 episodes of South Park. I didn't even know that. that thank you for the 100 episodes of South Park. I just want to say, y'all, thank y'all for supporting your boy, man. Y'all go above and beyond just to just to just to let me know that y'all care, man. You know, I'm, I'm trying my best to go reply to all the comments that I can. Some comments I can, some comments I can. But y'all, I'm just I'm just letting y'all know. Thank y'all, man. Thank y'all, man. Y'all changed my life forever and y'all constantly changing my life. Thank you. Every time y'all hit the like, every time y'all make a comment, even when you just sit and watch the video, y'all are changing my life, man. Thank y'all. Love y'all, man. I'll see y'all next time.